Hi everybody, Anna here. I haven't seen you in a while, but I'm back. I was going to do a haul video because I got some things from Pearl Daisy and East Essence and I got them. So let's get right into it. The first thing I'm going to do is for East Essence. I bought some of these semi rolls. This is great to add over things that you already have. You know, if something's a little too tight or something, or you don't want to show your bum, you can it's got a light swing. It's a really light material. It's black. I wanted to, I'm going to get these um, in gray and brown and white, inshallah. I don't know. But the other cool thing is they tell you on the tag when they made it. The thing is, though, it's made in India. And it's funny because one of the sisters at the Masjid, she ordered from East Essence like at the same time. So we could have ordered together since it's coming all the way from India. So that's what we were planning to do next time is to all order together so we can save on shipping. Especially because I only bought two things. I wouldn't have ordered just two things from India. But it was pretty easy, and it really didn't take that long, actually. A plain black abaya. Now, I said I would never wear just abayas, because I just think it's so frumpy, and blah, blah, but I got over it. You get tired of putting on so many layers of clothes, and if someone just comes to the door, put a abaya on, throw a scarf on your head, and answer the door, right? It just has the two buttons at the top. It's long. It also has pockets. I got it for someone six feet tall. I'm um, 5'10 and a half, 5'11. It's lovely. I got small. Um, and it's cut it a little in. There's a little definition, you know. It's A line, but it is kind of cut in on the side for the waist. So I probably, I'll get them a medium from now on because there's not much room to grow in. I've been gaining weight. But it's really cute. I love this abai. It's very light. I've worn it on some of the hottest days here, and it'll be like 90 degrees, and it's just fine. So I'm going to get this. Inshallah, and brown and gray and pink and purple because it was very cheap. This was, I think, 19.99 the semi robe, and the abaya is, I think it was 19.99 also. But I had to pay extra three or four dollars for the length that I wanted because I'm so tall. The other thing was I ordered from Pearl Daisy. Finally, I've been looking forward to this forever. I love a mannequin. This is the wing hijab. That's right, maxi wing hijab in pink. I love it it's got a lot of coverage it's light it's got these strings i don't usually tie under my chin like um you know she suggested because um i don't know it just doesn't work for my face for some reason to pin under my chin so i tie it there and then i'm just going to put it on really lightly there's a lot of coverage and everything look at all of that and it's really light actually well that's that i love the color it's really bright and vibrant and um i love pink anyway wrinkled because I washed them. And they washed well too. I didn't dry most of them all the way, but they washed pretty well. This is my Pearl Daisy drape scarf in black. <laughs> Long, and it's a really nice scarf. I, re I really like the quality. But this, I did wash, and it still maintains some of that sheen. It's not a sheen scarf, but it's just a regular one. But um, the color is really rich black. And um, it's just not cheap, is what I'm saying, you know. And the prices aren't that high either, but it's just, they're well done. Like, she really knows what she's doing here. They're very well done, because, you know, you get some of these little cheap scarves somewhere, and they'll snag, and they look, they just don't look as good. I got the draped scarf, and the pink as well. This one I dried more in the dryer than I meant to. And Pearl Daisy, where's the tag? I wanted to see what it says about wash. Hand wash in cold water. Yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> But, it, I mean, it's still light. It just, it did something very different. It was a very much prettier scarf. I should have read the directions first. But the green maxi hijab. I'm not sure if it's maxi, actually. I love this color. It's really rich. Beautiful. I washed this. I didn't dry it all the way, though. I should iron them before I do this tutorial, but I really don't really iron a lot. Don't tell my mom. Another hijab cherry red it's very 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 nice like a cranberry almost and um but this green and this red and you know and the navy i'm about to show you are really a little too thick to wear right now in the summer at least where i live just really love that color she really the the color she didn't skimp on my navy hijab <laughs> so i tried to get just basic colors for my first order from pearl days i didn't buy you know any print scarves and it's exciting to see the little tag. Go ahead, girl. Go with Mina. <laughs> Navy's good, too. And they, they are light. Don't get me wrong. It's just that I live in a very humid climate. So if I'm going to wrap something around, it's really got to be 
very, very light, is the white hijab. I'm so excited because I don't have very many white scarves, and this will be a great um, thing. I also ordered from PD some of the black pins, and her pins are, are good, actually. They're better quality than a lot of the other ones. This packaging comes in the pink shipment bag, and it's just... You know, girls, we love packaging. <coughs> so I got the color pen wheels, and I also got the white, because I don't have any white pens. So I was very pleased with both of my purchases, and uh, no complaint. Good talking to you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu. Have a great day.